Welcome back for part 2 of what if Mace Windu survived and trained Ahsoka. Thank you for your support on part 1 of this what if. If you haven't seen the first part, the link will be in the description below. The two former Jedi landed outside the royal palace of Alderaan, with the guards pointing their blasters towards the ship. Windu and Ahsoka walked down the ramp, and they all immediately lowered their weapons, at the calling of Bail Organa. The Senator of Alderaan bowed to the arriving allies, and he is grateful for their assistance, beckoning them to his palace. Organa informs the two Force users of what had happened in their absence, and they are shocked to learn of numerous Jedi survivors, including Obi-Wan Kenobi and Master Yoda. Also, Organa details events on Polis Massa, and the birth of Luke and Leia Skywalker, whom the Jedi deem to be their hopes of restoring the Order but neither have any interest in visiting the Jedi for now, as Windu feels shame from his failure to defeat the Sith, and they needed a place to remain safe. However, as soon as they stepped back outside, an Imperial cruiser loomed overhead, and Alderaan was in danger. Out of the cruiser, several Imperial dropship transports emerged, each carrying a battalion of stormtroopers and an Inquisitor. As the Empire touched upon the surface, Windu and Ahsoka helped the rebels escape into the nearby woods, whilst they dealt with the threats. Without their lightsabers, they grab nearby staffs and impale a few unsuspecting stormtroopers, then take their blasters. Soon, however, the Inquisitors surround them, and even with their superior skill, the former Jedi have to defend from the double-ended spinning lightsabers. Using the Force, Ahsoka disarms one of the Inquisitors, and takes his blade, whilst Windu uses his Shatterpoint ability to destroy two Inquisitors and take their blades. Pointing the lightsabers at one of the survivors, he demanded to know the identity of their master. The Inquisitor stays silent, and Windu invades her mind, finding a strangely familiar man in a mask by the name of Lord Vader. Slicing the Inquisitor into two, Windu and Ahsoka help to clear the area, but Alderaan was no longer safe for the former Jedi. Bail Organa guides them to his cruiser, and decides now is the time to reveal the location of Obi-Wan. The Senate activated his holo projector, and the distressed Obi-Wan shimmered into view. The Jedi Master was visibly pleased to see Ahsoka and Windu, but was reluctant for their presence, as they could bring the Empire. After a short period of meditation, Obi-Wan allowed them to join him, as his solitude was driving him into insanity, and there needed to be more protection for Luke. Taking one of the Imperial shuttles that had been left behind, Windu and Ahsoka travel to Tatooine and land in Mos Eisley, where the town is in a dire state. A recent drought had deprived the moisture farmers of their income, and Jabba the Hutt had not improved the situation by taking more money through heavy taxes. As a result, the Jedi received glares from the residents as they trudged out into the deserts. With the remaining credits of Windu, they purchase a speeder, then feel the force calling them to the Dune Sea. Eventually, they see the small hut belonging to Obi-Wan in the Jutland Wastes, but are surrounded by a group of Tusken Raiders. Igniting their new lightsabers, Windu and Ahsoka slayed the entire clan and found a disapproving Obi-Wan. Beckoning them into his hut, the Jedi Master reveals the role assigned to him by Yoda in protecting Anakin's other child. Windu and Ahsoka wonder why Luke has not been trained, and Obi-Wan is wary of the last homestead, having been rejected on multiple occasions. Windu is not phased, and took the speeder to the last home, where Owen sees the terrifying Windu. The former Jedi lifts Owen into the air with the Force, and deposits him to the side, taking nearby Luke, unknown to Beru, who had been outside. Travelling back to Obi-Wan's hut, the Sorosu Master is distressed at how Windu had retaken Luke. Over the following years, the two Jedi Masters continue Ahsoka's training and begin Luke's, and at the same time, they set about liberating Tatooine. The Jedi succeed in breaking some of Jabba's control over the planet, but they receive an emergency message from Bail Organa that the Empire was heading their way, and it was time to join Leia's rebellion. The four Force users travel to Mos Eisley, seeking a ship for their travels, until they see an Imperial probe droid hidden behind a group of droids. Ahsoka slices it into two, but it is too late, as their presence had been detected, and stormtroopers surround them. The Jedi slowly walk to the closest dock, and then simultaneously force push all of the stormtroopers out of the way, before making their escape to the ship of Bail Organa, knowing they were now wanted by the Empire. It was time for the Empire to pay for what they had done to the Jedi. 
That is it for part 2 of what if Mace Windu survived and trained Ahsoka. If you'd like to see a part 3, please like this video, turn on that notification bell, subscribe to this channel and my other channel What If Films for more What Ifs. And as always, leave a comment on what What If you'd like to see next and how I can improve my videos. Thank you all very much for watching and see you next time.